Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're having Sophie taste some UK slash Scottish foods. They're all gonna be unhealthy foods and they're all gonna be things that I've never tried before. I've been living in the UK cumulatively for like a year and a half because I spent half of a year in Sterling with Emily and then obviously a year here. So there's actually a fair few things I've never had. Yeah, so one thing that we're missing is a uh, deep fried Mars bar, but we can get it because we filmed this at four. Also, I'm going to be asking Sophie a lot of questions throughout and figuring out what it's like to be an American abroad. It's weird. Okay, so please enjoy and like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Enjoy, love you, bye. Hi, my name is Sophie and I'll be auditioning for Dead Girl Number One. Okay, go, number one. Ooh, a Yorkie. Very fitting because my dog is half Yorkie. Chocolatey. It's got sections. Okay. Wow. Is it solid chocolate? Yeah. Is that all it is? Yep. But it's Nestle. Usually, like, it's like not Cadbury's. I thought it was gonna have some kind of filling. It's just literally straight up chocolate. Why don't you just buy Cadbury? It was caught. It was like controversial because the slogan used to be Yorkie. It's not for girls. <laughs> I, I give it. I feel like. I really wasn't expecting that, which is to be plain chocolate, so I'm a little bit disappointed. And the chocolate's fine, so I'm gonna give like a seven. Seven out of ten. Boost bar. Okay, also chocolate. It smells good. Ooh. What's in it? It's like it. crunchy, really chewy, really chewy. It's like when I first when I first bit into it, I kinda was like snickery, I guess. The chocolate's good, but I hate the weird thing that makes my teeth feel weird. Like a four. Oh no. Out of ten. I'm gonna have a cavity. Okay, next one. Renegade. Mars Bar. They're called Milky Ways in America. Mars Bar, isn't that like a bigger brand? We can fact check that. Looks like a Three Musketeers. Or Milky Way. Americans at the Milky Way Bar. To me, that's like the quintessential like Halloween candy. If you got a Milky Way, that was like a win. I really like it. So, it tastes just the same. I'm gonna say eight and a half out of 10. Eight and a half. It's a penguin, so we used to get this in our like school lunchboxes. There's a joke on it, we the joke. Where? What do you call a happy penguin? Any guesses? Happy really feet. <laughs> a penguin. <laughs> ha ha, that's funny. How old are you? 24. Where in America are you from? Framingham, Massachusetts. What did you study? For my undergrad, I studied kinesiology, and for my master's, I studied public health. What's kinesiology? Kinesiology is the study of human movement. Ooh. Mmm. Oh god, can we keep these? Because it said McVitie's, I knew that it was in the digestive family. I love a digestive. And I am happy to report this is like a digestive bar. This is beautiful. It's a staple. I mean, like, who doesn't like it? I'm gonna give that nine and a half out of ten. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, how much was your college per year? Twenty-four thousand dollars. Twenty-four thousand dollars a year. Times four. Did totally. that include your rent? No, it was just my school. So I had to pay for room and board and food. Is that what board is? And that's like that's a really good deal. That's in-state cost. Where did you go to college? University of Massachusetts Amherst, baby. Best school in the world. Have you voted in the upcoming election? Hell yeah, I have. Absentee ballot. I voted for Joe Biden. Everyone get out and vote seriously. A milky bar. I'm apprehensive because I don't like white chocolate. But, oh, it's like a cowboy. Are they all cowboys? Mm. It's just literally solid white chocolate. <sighs> I don't like it. Two. Two. Two out of ten. I do not like that. What are your thoughts on Donald Trump? Turd. He's a turd demon from the underworld. Cool. Okay, a Freddo caramel. I, I think I've had, had Freddo before. My thing with Cadbury things is it's all the same but in different shapes, so I don't really understand what's going on with that. Where's the caramel? Oh, shoot. Oh, the caramel's really good. I love caramel. I think, out of 10, eight and a half, that's really, actually, I'm gonna give it a nine. I liked it more than the Mars bar. Okay, what's the biggest difference between living in the UK versus the US? Everyone smokes, literally everyone smokes. I don't understand. Over here? Yeah. I think really the biggest difference though is just living in the city. And the transportation is so good. Does everyone in America like have a car? Oh yeah, absolutely. Also, I feel like the food's cheaper. Almost everything's cheaper. Wine gums. I have a feeling I'll really like these because I love gummy worms, gummy bears. <laughs> oh my god, they smell like apple cider vinegar. Hold on. Well, they smell absolutely horrific. Why are they need to fix that? Very dense. Are they supposed to taste like wine? I don't know why they're called that. Oh, you know what they remind me of? Dots. If any American kid ever had dots, I'm so sorry. They taste like shit. Out of 10? I just took. 
out of 10, you know, I like the fruity flavor. Smell really bad. So I'm gonna say a four out of 10. That was weird. Okay, best advice you could give someone studying abroad from America. Do not stay with your American friends. Branch out, make a friend that is from your country because not only will those Americans be back when you go back to your school. Because I know Emily, we were able to go on so many different places that like a local would know. Rather than visiting makes you feel like you're actually live there. Like meet their friends, like just literally just forget the Americans. Well, well, well. We have a chomp. It looks like a fudge to me. I've had a fudge. As Rachel Patrick says, Kunzel chocolate. It's so short. That's weirdly thin. I feel like in America, if you gave that to a kid, they would throw it. They'd be like, what the is this? Can I see that? Uh uh, uh uh. I don't want to eat it. Caramel is meant, that's why I rated Fredo so highly. Caramel is not meant to be, I can hold my house together with it. I don't like that. Oh, 10? 3. I'd rather eat a wine gum, not saying something. I'm definitely gonna need a filling. Why do no Americans have kettles and how do they make tea and coffee? Americans don't have kettles because tea isn't really a thing. What about like instant coffee? No. Instant, like yes people do it, but mostly it's just like one of those classic big coffee makers or a Keurig or something. And they, they like keep their coffee up in the microwave and stuff. I mean my dad does that, yeah. That's kind of normal, is it? Comment down below. But okay, a kettle has saved my life because if you're making pasta, you have to wait for the, like the water to boil. I'm never going to live my life without a kettle now. So how many people are in your family? Four. How many of them have kettles? I think that actually Bryson has one. Well, I think so, 25%. How many of your friends have kettles? Zero. Literally zero. This next one is a classic lunchbox item in the UK. Did you know that while swimming, elephants use their trunks like a snorkel to breathe in deep water? He's still my heart. That's reason enough to open it up. Is this going to be like a digestive? Mm. Oh my god. Oh, Freddo's here. It's like a baby digestive bite. I love it so much. Ten. I want to eat these forever. Nice. First, our first ten. Okay, explain the electoral college. I'm gonna get roasted for this. I think that it's like in the Senate, <laughs> <laughs> the S Supreme Court, <laughs> something somewhere out there. Like the people obviously vote for who they want to be president, but then like it's also down to a matter of like the head officials in the US government. Like it's not just the people that decide it, which low key is against democracy. I don't really understand. Yeah, whatever. I actually don't know either. I can smell this from inside the box and I'm so nervous. Pot noodle! <coughs> Pot noodle in the flavor original curry. I'm supposed to become an unforgettable in four minutes. But Emily asked me if I wanted the mango chutney and I, here's the thing, when I'm in the mood for Indian food, I love Indian food probably more than any other type. You cannot compare a pot noodle to Indian food. Ow. Hmm. Do you know what? It's like ramen. I'll put a picture of it here. This is actually good. I'm sorry that I roasted it. Literally a nine. I would have that as a meal. Can you name all 50 states? Yes. Okay, go. 30 seconds, I got it. I'm gonna challenge you 25 seconds. Oh my god. Three, two, one, go. Alabama, Alaska, Arizona, Arkansas, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Utah, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, West Virginia, Wisconsin, Wyoming. Oh, one second left! Oh my god! <laughs> Literally one second left. Good job. It's a turkey dinosaur! <laughs> I think I have a triceratops. Was Ross it? Geller, comment down below if I'm right. Now I'm excited because who doesn't love a good chicken nugget, but it's a turkey dinosaur. It's different. Oh man. I feel like I'm four again. That's delicious. Oh, 10? 10. Nice. Oh my god. It doesn't even taste like turkey. It tastes like chicken. We have that for dinner tonight. Okay, have you been to all 50 states? No. Have you, how many have you been to? Probably six. Because I'm from the northeast, I've been to all like northeast states, and then I've, one time my family and I took a road trip down the east coast, and then I've been to California. How far is Boston from New York? I feel like it's like a three hour drive. And how often, how many times have you been? I went one time because I didn't want to because my flight got changed to New York. But I went one time electively with my sister. So I think like one official time. It's crazy you live so close and you don't go that way. No, long. I don't think David is that close. That's the thing. And like Boston's right there, so. Dunkers. We definitely had an equivalent. You know the ones that had like the little red spready on stick? And they were delicious. Oh, that's some thick cheese. The cheese is weird. I feel like it's trying to be Baby Bell, but it's not the seven. Like, I can see it as a good kid snack, but. Who is Nicola Sturgeon? The Prime Minister of Scotland? Close, First Minister, nice. 
Awesome. How many times have you been to Disneyland? I've been to the one in Florida, I think, twice, and then I went to the one in Paris once. What's the best thing about being American? I definitely had like a very privileged upbringing because I'm white, and my, both my parents worked. They we had enough money to have a good life. I know that that's not the case though for everyone, and it's it's really hard to look around America and see there's so much inequality. I hate that about America. I am so grateful for where I live in like the most humble way possible. I, I'm so so grateful for the way that I was brought up. So I really hope if everyone gets out and votes, please that we can move forward to more people having the same opportunities that a lot of other people have. I've got some fruit shoots. Literally every time I'm out in the town and I see a little kid drinking a fruit shoot out of his stroller, I get so jealous and I point to it and I'm like, Emily, please can I have a fruit shoot? And she says, one day, today's the day. We're gonna start out with the apple and black currant. Is this just the same as like diluting juice? Sweet. That is sweet. Oh, yeah. oh my God, that's so good. Now we're going in with the orange juice drink. I guess if I was in an orange mood, that one's really good. I'm gonna say, for what it is, 10 out of 10. Tasted just like I imagined. Really good. This one, 8 out of 10. Not as good. Can you explain to the people and me what a hall pass is? <laughs> yeah, so only some teachers would make you have a hall pass. I'm sure that some stricter private schools would have it. I went to like a public school, so it was kind of like every man for himself, but some teachers would. It's either a slip that you had to fill out. It didn't really happen that often in my school, but it was basically you had to fill out a slip if you wanted to be out in the hallway, so that if like a member of staff passed you, you could prove that you weren't just like out causing trouble or skipping class. And sometimes you'd have to write the time that you left on it, because if you're gone for more than like a certain amount of time, it would be bad news. But like, what if you had like diarrhea pass it on? I am brute. So I have had this before, but like how can you not put this in the taste test, you know? Someone told me that I should try an Iron Brew, Iron Brew Slushy. It might have been Charlotte. Charlotte Robinson. If you didn't say that, I'm sorry, but Charlotte says something. This to me tastes like bubble gum. I don't know why, if that's a popular opinion, it tastes just like straight up bubble gum to me. I would never ever electively pick up a can and be like, yes. Also, I never ever had soda growing up, so it even took me a long time to like bubbly things. I feel like there's so many things here that are iron roof flavored. Like when we went to that slushy place. Tubbies? Tubbies? Tubbies, yeah. Oh my god. I guess I'm just a little bit disappointed because I don't get the hype, so I'm gonna say like six. Right now. Five. Six. It's five? Five and a half. Okay. Can you name all the countries in the UK? Yes. Northern Ireland, Scotland, England, and Wales. Nice. <sighs> Listen guys, I've been waiting to try What's It's for so long, I and mean, don't ask me why. I'm really, really responsive to ads, and I've been seeing ads for those like What's It's giants. I have a feeling they're gonna be like Cheetos Puffs. Cheetos Puffs, ooh. Are they better or worse? They're exactly the same. They taste exactly the same as Cheetos Puffs. Mm. I love them. Oh my god, I can't make them stop. How much is healthcare and how does it work? Healthcare is astronomical and inaccessible to lots and lots of people that really need it. Basically, the way I get healthcare at home is through my, my dad's work. So both my parents thankfully still work and still have their jobs. But my dad, his company had a better like benefits package. So at work, you know, you have certain benefits. You have like your 401k, which is your retirement fund. So like your pension? Yeah, pension, and then obviously you have health care. Sometimes it'll include vision care, sometimes it'll include dental care, but as I said, every company basically pays for it. So it's, it's up to them to provide the benefits. So my dad had better benefits than my mom's job. I would say every time I go to the doctor, I usually have to pay like 40 or $50 dollars go and the rest is covered by insurance and then if I ever had to go to the hospital or get an ambulance that would be like thousands of thousands and thousands of dollars. If you lost your job would you lose your health care? Yeah. That's very bad. So again, I'm just saying vote people. Whoops. We couldn't find the original flavor um so these are barbecue beef but it's kind of disgusting to me but what are you gonna do? So it looks like little calamari so that's a little bit freaky. There I don't like this flavor, first of all. When you, the flavor is licked away, the potato underneath is not that good. As a kid, I would have found these fascinating to play with, because like. Oh yeah, people put them on their fingers and stuff. Yeah, but they're too like thick. I don't like them. <laughs> I'm gonna say, out of 10, I give these like a four. No thank you. Do you like living in the UK? Yes. I really do love living in the UK. Our rent is way cheaper. Groceries are way cheaper, the people are so nice. I like the size of it, you can like really get around, you know, fly places, I, I love it. I think it's really great. My family doesn't live here, so it's a major downside. This is our last one, we have flavors. You know what, I think they could have done a better job with appetizing me, like would I want to eat that? 
No, they look a little bit holy. They look kind of like... Quakers are so good. They're very light, a mild flavor. They remind me of something. What do they remind me of? Like something from America? I think I'll give Quavers... Cheers. Cheers. I think I'll actually give them like a seven. What's a nice snack. Beautiful. Well, thanks for tasting stuff. Sophie, what was your favorite thing overall? Favorite thing overall, honestly, was those animals. Tur and, oh no, the penguin. I like the penguin. And you like the turkey dino, right? Yes, okay. If I were to have a dream dinner, I would have my fruit shoot and my turkey dino, and then for dessert, a little penguin with a cup of tea. Beautiful. Perfect. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Love you all. Bye. Bye.